I have spent uh, the former seven years of my career building a uh, data company. And, uh, I believe this is very relevant for our story here at VLayer. Of course, the details were, were, were completely different, but the observations and the learnings from um, building a global anti-fraud prevention technology, focusing on Web2 applications, uh, has led to uh, the formation of, of our idea with my co-founder of what we want to solve next. And uh, VLayer is effectively allowing Solidity smart contract developers to conveniently access additional data sources. Not only the data that is already sitting in the history of blockchain, but equally importantly, or even more importantly, to break this isolation bubble between Web2 and Web3 and access verifiable information from both email and uh, web context. We call them email proofs and web proofs. And this is very powerful. And uh, I do believe that me spending several years building a Web2 focused data player uh, allowed me to, to, to realize some of the problems. And, and, and since the promises of decentralization are so compelling to many, uh, I couldn't be more excited to, to be on the mission to build a developer tooling platform that will bridge Web2 data to Web3 applications. I do believe that we are seeing more and more need for decentralization. And obviously, not everything should or can be decentralized. But in many contexts, that creates a very interesting redundancy or alternative and uh, quite simply solves efficiency problem. Uh, by looking at or observing the blockchain space for several last years, uh, things have been improving and several problems have been tackled and, and, and solved to a certain degree. We, we have uh, achieved the scalability of Ethereum, we have, to a certain degree. We, 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 we have been seeing immense uh, improvements when it comes to privacy aspects. But it is often uh, discussed that the end user utility of, of web, web free applications is still somehow limited. And being a data scientist by training, I do believe that the information value that is currently sitting on centralized servers, these are all the applications that all of us use every single day. Without this context, a web free app can simply not be as appealing to an end user. So in order to attract this mass adoption, we really need to have a technical way of accessing uh, these additional data categories directly from the level of contract, a smart contract. So that's effectively the mission. We do believe that being this bridge, this connector between the currently isolated web free bubble and the web two world, that is the world that we all live in, uh, with our smartphones and computers, this is the way to go. And, and, and this is obviously a very exciting and, and, and difficult path because a lot of this infrastructure and tooling needs to be built. But we have time and energy to, to, to go after this. Developer experience can mean several things. For me personally, as a CEO, is effectively shipping tools that simply work. Unfortunately, very often within the Web3 space, we, uh, we see a lot of projects and they are announcing impressive plans. But when you really sit down, look at the documentation, go through the examples that are provided, uh, you're not able to, to go through the, the design flow. Simply there are some mistakes or, or things are not clear. We do believe that Web2 is probably a bit more advanced when it comes to this. And we would like to arrive at the state that anything that we ship, anything that we document, anything that we communicate to our developer community simply works. It might seem trivial, but at the end of the day, it's not so obvious. There are several ways to look at, look at this uh, situation. We do believe that um, there are a few significant uh, civic, significant advantages of uh, focusing on solidity. First of all, it's an already established standard 
governing what is happening in the Ethereum ecosystem. So as a business person, as a CEO, as someone who's investing in a new project, you don't need to hire new teams. Very importantly, these teams, they do not need to learn new technologies. That's why we are introducing applied cryptography innovation that currently is it's not available to them. They, need, they would need to learn a new technology, a new stack, a new ZK DSL, as we often call them. Uh, with vLayer, developer can access the end result, so the, the additional verifiable data uh, category directly from, from their Solidity contract. This is super powerful. Very importantly, everything stays in Solidity. So again, as a business person, you don't need to worry about modifying or extensively expanding your auditing budget. We know that at the end of the day, everything needs to be audited. When we are, I'm coming from the, uh, from the cybersecurity space, so it resonates very closely to me. But at the end of the day, uh, the auditing cycle that you are currently undergoing is going to be the same because there is just a little bit more solidity code to be audited. Uh, this is super powerful and, and no one else is doing this that way. We do believe in the notion of, of utility. At the end of the day, the decentralized application ADAP needs to be able to win the hearts of end users. And we do believe that uh, historically this utility was, was simply limited by the fact that a decision logic in, implemented or, 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 uh, or, or leveraged by a smart contract was simply limited because uh, the smart contract and the blockchain itself is, is, is staying in separation with with our everyday lives. By being able to leverage private and public Web2 data within the smart contract, you're effectively allowing yourself as a smart contract developer to solve and interact with problems that we all see in everyday life. We do believe that this is the, the, next, the next paradigm. This is going to be the next big uh, thing for uh, boosting adoption of Web3 among the, the masses. And that's why, that's why we are so excited about the mission that we, that we have embarked on. The plans are super exciting. And uh, we have officially started our journey early this year and uh, things have been moving extremely quick. And obviously the underlying idea and observations that led us to, to the build what we are building have been with us for several years now. But, um, we couldn't be more excited to actually approach the moment when we will reveal the first version of, 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 of our, uh, of our dev developer tooling later this fall. We do not want to uh, point to an exact date yet because uh, as, as, as many of the builders out there, it's, it's not so obvious uh, and, and there are a lot of interesting problems that we need to solve, but we can uh, really commit that the great uh, Solidity smart contract developer community will be able to play with vLayer uh, later this year, hopefully later this fall. There are a few places uh, where you can learn more about where we are at with our project. The first one will be the website, go to vlayer.xyz. We also, since recently, have been more and more active on our X slash Twitter account. So make sure to follow us there. Uh, we have been also investing in creating a Discord community. So there is a dedicated vLayer uh, Discord server that is becoming uh, more and more active. And for sure, you can find all the recent news and, and be able to interact with our team members directly there. And, and of course, uh, for the developers out there, our GitHub uh, is going to be a more and more powerful reference uh, directory to, to look at the code and obviously interact with what we are actually building. Um, we are in the process of uh, preparing our book, so a very expressive technical documentation. It's not yet made public, but stay tuned and uh, make sure to take a look at this later this fall.